Welcome, Divs, to episode 12 of Ultimara. That's what I'm naming it now. In the last episode, um, as you could see, there's a lot of dead things on the floor. Simply because of one thing, well, multiple things, but the Blade Fury. Now, we got this from the Monk Master's Vault card. We need five more keys in order to get another one and then re-roll the anointments. Okay. We need four keys now in order to do so. Uh, we managed to get. We managed to just beat off the beat off. I mean, okay. <laughs> we managed to just beat the fabricator. So now we've got to go back and see Timothy, I believe. Yeah, I believe we'll go back and see Timothy, and then we'll be able to go and take on what's his face. I'm gonna call him Lucy. Lucy. So next we'll be doing the Guns, Love and Tentacles DLC. Which is a Cthulhu based DLC, which I love my Cthulhu kind of stuff. That's alright, let's pick you up because you're going to do a lot of damage to those in the AU. Yeah. I was hoping he had, but I don't think he did. Oh no, he did. Fish slap. Please give me a fish a fish, a fish grenade. Because that is part of the build. Ah, oh, no. Agile crit, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to just chuck you on the floor because I can't sell you. God damn, this thing takes forever. I've just realised. I've left my coffee downstairs. What am I supposed to drink if I left my coffee downstairs? I'll drink the tears of my enemies. That's exactly what I'll drink. There's a boss here. This this person. Uh, drops two of the best. Maybe even three, to be fair. Class mods in the game. Didn't drop anything. But it's a really, really good, um, it's a good one to farm, that is. Drops the Seen Dead class mod for Zane, which is... Arguably the best class mod in the game for Zane. I think between the time of playing last episode, eating food and then coming back to my computer, I've broken my brains. Oh, damn. Ah, huh. pretty boy, that's his name. Hey, look, photo of Moxie still. The younger Moxie, the foxy Moxie. Ah, look. There she is, Angel. Can you hit me? Thank you. Oh, yeah. That's the spot. That's all I ever needed was you to spawn some friends. Oh, well. And there was me thinking that was beginning of me in it. Golden rule. Eh. Stack pot. Eh. Oh. Well, that's that's done then. I think we, uh, we go back to the ship. And we start the next DLC. Ah, uh, so you... There it is, that's what I want. Yes. Xylorgos. Whoa, just in a whole thing, it's a corrosive. How are you doing, Death Trap? This, this map has, not the map, but the DLC in general has some really cool sort of like mini bosses. God damn, wouldn't it be cool if we got to fight that? Oh, you twat. Hey, what was that you just dropped? It was like a shield. Unless it's a revolter shield, I'm not interested. Oh, front loader. It's not even a DLC weapon, you just dropped a base game weapon on me. I don't remember what that's for. I'll be honest with you. Now, the shame about this build is there's so many good weapons that I'm not going to be able to utilise. Like, there's one in this DLC, the Clairvoyance. And that is... So it's like a Jacob's weapon, but it's fully automatic and it's like frost damage. It's this area, because it should spawn up here. Right here, it should spawn. But I'm guessing we've not triggered that part of the, uh, the DLC yet, so... We'll actually continue on speaking with Wayne right, Wayne right for now then. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll um, we will farm for the Revolt Shield because that's that's it is gonna help our survivability be and we need I've gotta run all the way down there though, but yeah, so we should be able to get one that says on action skill start, which means anytime we use our special phase grasp, the shield's break skill, so it's its damage buff will trigger. So we've got a bit of a way to run. But lucky for you guys, you ain't gotta go. You ain't gotta deal with all of that. Skip. Shit. Run one. An action skill end. I'll take it because it's better. You know, actually, I don't know if it is better. It might be worse. 
because my shield won't break as often. Run two. Nope, I'll take it. So, even if we get one that has, let's say, like that one, that one there, that's a pretty good one because the recharge delay is a bit low compared to this one, but this one has a better anointment. And it can also absorb bullets and movement speed while shields full is good, but we're not really going to utilize that too much. So let's see if we can get one with the lowest shield recharge delay possible. Ah, oh, come on, you big bastard. Just one more, then I can show the lovely people of the world how to re-roll anointments. Oh, we disappeared for a second then, see that? Hit me. Now you're in for it, lad. You rat bastard. I mean, I'll take the vault card. Unless you're not going to give me a key though, are you? Yes! No, okay. Not an issue. Um, but like I say, we can always just change that one. But then that's not really a good uh, overall att attachment with the shield. If I can get one that does um, extra melee damage, that'd be nice. Really? You somehow give me more of these drops on the lowest, the easiest setting of the game than you are on the hardest setting that's supposed to drop more. Hit me. Thank you. And you're dead now. Oh, bro, come on. You've given me two at this point in story mode. Normal Vault Hunter, Mayhem level zero. We had already left this big bastard. Hey! And that, let's replay too. Okay, that's better. Sort of. Let's try this out. Because I quite like this gun. Clearly not, not enough. Okay, we'll quit to that menu anyway, just because it's going to be faster than respawning. Uh, unhealthy plea to become shock enraged. Yeah, whatever. Eight plus eight percent health. Crouching projects my shield forward. I mean, it's not bad. It's got a really good capacity. Oh, let's know what you're gonna give me. Uh, scourge. Scourge. Don't want it. Keep it. Attempt number six hundred and forty-one. Uh, another one? Is this any better? No. That is awful! Oh my god! That is truly awful. Almost a 10 second recharge delay. He's a badass raging sumo. Who's gonna drop me my loot? <laughs> oh, we did drop the Echo too though. That's a cool one. Attempt number 1246. Hey, he's dropped two of something. A ringer. What's a ringer? Oh, that's cool. It's like the, the thing, um. Tink grenade. That's what I'm trying to think of. There's only one reason I'm taking that. Because, again, it's another awful one. 7.9 shit, uh. Regen. Delay. However. As soon as I use my action skill, my shield triggers. I'll show you now. Unless I've got to pick him up. Yeah, there you go. I've got to physically pick him up. That's fine. So it's a bit stronger on Zane. Because he has a skill that has three charges. And that counts towards that. Wow. Um, 9.3 seconds. Bro, if you can give me one that's got like three delay bits on it, that'd be great. I'd take one. Okay. I'll take it. I will take that. And I'll show you why I'm taking that one. Multiple reasons, but... Hello there, welcome. Hello. Right, so... The reason we've taken this one. Two things. Recharge delay, six seconds. The max capacity, eh. Oh, that's not a... That's my mouse. The recharge delay, that's... Yeah, I'll take that. And that's it, really. Just because that's the best one that we've found. We can always go back and farm for another one. 
The only thing I am going to re-roll is the anointment on it, because that anointment... It's not... It's not that it sucks. It's just that... On shield break, the next shot deals 100% shield capacity as bonus amp damage. Oh, sorry. No, that's just not going to be efficient. That's what we want. So then whenever I use that, my shield breaks, which is cool. And I am I am going to leave it there for the day, I think, guys. I will not press P because P doesn't want to work for some reason. Ah, there we go. Splendid. I will leave it there for the day. It's been an eventful day. We've uh, we got some new gear. Well, we've got a piece of new gear. We def we completed the Handsome Jack DLC. And now we're on to Love Guns and Tentacles, which is another solid DLC. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you for day 13, or whichever day we're on, of Ultimara. Take care.